Me too. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so th- we have two other modes of the melodic minor. And one we've talked about already over dominant. So the second mode, if we're talking about that relative minor, it would be Dorian flat two or Phrygian six. If we're talking about it over dominant, it would be 13 with a sus and a raised and lowered nine. So how do we make the same B flat melodic minor sound like C minor or C seven? We simply reference either the minor or the dominant arpeggio in the key of C relative to that B flat melodic minor. So if I want to make it sound like C minor, maybe play some straight up C Dorian chords. And then I'm perceiving it as C minor. So and on that note, that doesn't belong to me. Kind of sound whole tone if I'm if I decide I want to make them both melodic minor, then it sounds very much like the whole tone scale. Double stumpy stuff. You can do this very well too, I'm sure. So think melodic minor or whole tone below a minor, either over whatever version of C minor you're playing, doesn't have to be melodic or Dorian, could be anything. Whatever your C minor is, if you want it to kind of create the illusion of the whole tone scale. Strictly speaking, it's not completely whole tone, but close. Just go back and forth between melodic minors a whole step apart, the key you're in and a whole tone below. It sounds whole tone because of the... the that, yes. Is it, so, it, so you're yes. saying B flat melodic minor over C minor? Yes. Mm-hmm. What do you think? That's awesome. That's a cool one. So there's certain intervals I would have to target, though, to get that whole tone sound, right? What are the specific That's right. spots that you're thinking of? Good question. I'm not, quite that, I'm not quite that disciplined about it. I'm just grabbing shapes, but recognizing that it does kind of sound like the whole tone. So just grab any melodic minor shape and just go, go back and forth between the two keys, and you'll discover if you want it to sound whole tone, the ways to do oh, it. Oh, okay. Know, but, oh, so. Yeah, so I haven't done it in a really systematic way. Yeah. But, but that sounds kind of like the whole tone, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, that's a really cool mm-hmm. sound. I haven't messed with that. I got to check that out more. That's awesome. It's a good one. Well, you've you've uh, you've excited my curiosity and some things that you were complaining too. So that's one of the nice things about these collaborations and conversations. So our last key uh, would be uh, the Locrian sharp two. It's the sixth mode. So strictly speaking, this is designed to modify the half diminished by adding the nine, adding the, the like adding the natural nine. So that's the sound I like a lot, and you use it a lot too. So if we think of that as a key, that would be melodic minor. Uh, the sixth mode would correspond to melodic minor, a minor third above. And what's interesting about that is if you play major, a minor third above, that's just a relative major. So that would be just straight up C Dorian. So if I take E flat major, Ionian or Lydian, it's just C Dorian sounds. <laughs> If I drop the third down from a G to an F sharp to my melodic minor, then I've got my low green sharp too. So I would say also in a larger sense, why limit yourself only to half diminish? Why not think of that just as a kind of a modified minor nine flat five? So strictly speaking, it's not, you know, why call it only half diminish? Why not think of that as part of our larger minor vocabulary? So if I go back and forth between E flat major and E flat melodic minor over C minor, the nine remains for both and the fifth is flatted. So now I have simple, right? Yeah, that's really cool. In, in principle, you can do it too. So one is, and bear in mind that absolutely does function as a kind of C half diminished. So we can also use, and I've seen you do this in our first session. I think you were doing it. I bet you, I know you can do it. Why not think melodic minor voicings, not only a whole tone below a minor, but also a minor third above, either straight minor for that minor nine flat five or C half diminished. So take a basic C half diminished voicing like this and alternate it with a melodic minor voice. And I've got the nine on top in that case. But here's a straight up C half diminished. And these are all E flat melodic minor voicings. Now, if I'm thinking of it in a larger sense of as just C minor, I might throw that open G in too. So put the G on top even. 
So, you know, the, the of course, the natural or the perfect fifth doesn't go away if we're playing C minor, uh, like, and you do too, sometimes close intervals. So I might put a, a G and a G flight together of this, this minor. kind of Frizzellian sounding, right? That's awesome. So I might mess around with variations on C, B flat, and E flat melodic minor all over, thinking about all the C minor. So I'm introducing flat nines. If it's B flat melodic minor, hold on below, and minor nine flat five. If I'm thinking melodic minor, a minor third above. And in both of those keys, I could also play major, not B flat Lydian, because that puts an E natural in the mix, but a B flat Ionian chord. So I can go from B flat major to B flat melodic minor, and also B flat 